Hi everyone, Ollie here and welcome back. I've just finished the first week of year two at Warwick Medical School. So it's been a really, really busy first week. We were back in lectures right on day one. We had some introductory talks to AC1, which is the kind of big block that we're studying at the moment. I'll talk about that more in a second. We've moved into a new house. I'm now living in Coventry instead of Leamington, just to be closer to the uni and the hospitals that I'll need to be going to. And I can't believe how quickly this first week has gone. Now, a uh, big kind of annoyance, and it, it's nobody's fault, but because this house is normally let out on nine month contracts, there was no internet in place. Uh, so we've had no internet for the past week. We are getting it installed on Tuesday, which we are very ready for, given that we've started lectures again and need to be looking things up. So internet will be taken care of, which means I'll be able to upload videos again. But let's just talk about where I am. So I came back, I started again on the 10th of September, I want to say Monday the 10th. And we've now started AC1, Advanced Cases 1, and this is basically, I think it's 10, 10 or 11 weeks, basically until Christmas of this year, where we're studying all the kind of biology and core bits of medicine that they couldn't cram into the first year. We studied an enormous amount of material. It's essentially two years of a medical degree condensed into one, the first year at Warwick Medical School, but there's still more that we haven't done. So. This week we've been looking mainly at arrhythmias and going over ECG stuff again, so that's been very interesting. I can't remember what the other themes are that we look at, but I know one is cancer biology, which we didn't do much of at all in the first year. Just basically, as I say, everything that couldn't be crammed into the already packed full first year. So that'll take us through the next couple of months. My timetable is actually completely different now because a few modules have switched around and it's very different in second year. So I will spend one day a week in hospital, it's Sunday today. Tomorrow I will be spending all day uh, in hospital. Half of that will be spent in what's called self-directed learning, um, where I will have a ward base. So tomorrow I believe I'm spending half the day on the neuro ward and I can go and talk to patients, talk to the doctors and just basically practice my exams and neurology and all the things I want to practice. Then the other half of tomorrow I'm going to spend in an optional what's called CLO, Clinical Learning Opportunity, and you had to elect I think five, your top five of these, there was a whole long list of things we could do, but basically it's a chance to go and spend some small group teaching time with particular sets of staff. So tomorrow for example I will be spending some time with the tissue viability nurses, looking at wound healing and basically what their job is, how they become part of the NHS team overall, and over the course of AC1, I've got a couple more. I'll be spending some time in radiology. Excuse me while I refer to my sheet here. Radiology, CNS TV, and Blue Sky, which is, I think, a domestic or sexual abuse center. I can't 100% remember, but basically this is my timetable, uh, all the different wards I'll be on and the things I'll be doing. And we actually have some new skills to learn as well, some new clinical skills. So a uh, venipuncture, taking blood, doing blood cultures, I've got in a couple of weeks. And then I have resus and airway management um, in about six weeks time. So basically we'll be having more useful skills taught to us such that we're able to do a bit more on the wards. Then for me, Tuesdays, Wednesdays and Thursdays will be spent in uni in lectures. We haven't quite gotten past that yet because we've still got to do all the core material from that. On a Tuesday evening, I have my SSC, my student selected component. For those of you who don't know, uh, I will be doing mine in medical education. The module is called Peer Assisted Learning, an Introduction to Medical Education. And that's from 3 p.m. until 6 p.m. on a Tuesday evening. The SSCs can either be on Tuesday evenings or Friday mornings. Um, all of mine I chose, I wanted them to be on a Tuesday evening so that I could have my Fridays free to do something else with and I'm hoping to be beginning a research project. So I'm working on getting my research lined up and I still want to go along with my housemate, Ollie, to the optional neuroscience teaching that takes place at University Hospital on a Friday and hopefully do some shadowing on the wards there as well. We've been given these sign-off cards, so we have to go to sessions like Introduction to Operating Theatre, Introduction to General Practice, and we have to go and have all these sample sessions basically just to say that we've had the experience that we need to have had and we get our bedside teaching signed off on that card as well. 
we've been given these diddy little handbooks um, advanced cases one learning outcomes handbook and the new clinical exams will be expected to do and i do have a little anatomy book somewhere but we've got two more anatomy sessions we actually spent last friday morning in anatomy at university hospital and we will be doing the same this friday as well but these are the last times that we're actually going to have the hands-on anatomy teaching with the plastinates which makes me kind of sad because they've been such an incredible part of the first year the anatomy teaching at warwick is genuinely amazing my favorite part of the course no question in this past week it was basically a reflection looking at all the core anatomy we did in year one and it was building upon it because we've started doing the lymph system you do venous and arterial supplies in quite a lot of detail in the first year this past week we started looking at the lymphatic system as well and the way it was taught was that it built on all the core stuff that we'd done before and i think that's basically the way that ac1 and the rest of the degree is going to go it assumes that you still have all the knowledge from first year because it we're then tackling more complicated things that build upon that core knowledge so going over our old notes and revising continuously is something that we've had to get straight back into uh, you know right in the first few days and very unhelpfully i'm starting to come down with a cold so when i am actually able to make videos again i will have a cold and won't sound great on camera but I'm actually really, really excited. We have a this week and then the medical freshers will be joining us. Um, we have medic kids uh, coming in. So you might remember that at the beginning of the last year, I mentioned the medic family system. This is sort of like a mentorship program. So me and Tom, who you've seen on the channel before, been allocated to medic children who we will be looking after. We've got student seminar teaching coming which I'm hoping to be part of will be teaching some of you guys when you come into the first year things like the anatomy days I've got a very cool project um, which I'm hoping that many of you when you come to Warwick you'll help me get started because it's going to rely heavily on first year input and there's just so much to do so I've got this research to come loads of videos to make I'm going to give you guys uh, a tour of the house a tour of the way I've got this new room uh, set up it's not quite ready um, to show you all yet because it needs kind of revamping a little bit but I'm really really excited to make videos this year to do more blog content expand all the series we've got going on and add new ones and I think it's going to be a really really great year for those of you joining me here at Warwick in a week's time again I'm really really looking forward to meeting you if you see me in the corridor or something and you recognize me please come and say hi and yeah that's where we'll wrap this thanks very much for watching guys please be sure to hit that like button for me leave a comment subscribe to the channel and don't forget to go and check out postgradmedic.com for more free video content like this and my blog of daily med school life here at the University of Warwick on the Grad Entry Medicine program. Take care and I'll see you next time.